안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. So, I'm here at the Korean Culture Festival taking place here at Tainan Restaurant. I am really proud to witness the good relationship between Korea and Thai. Let's go check it out more. The 40-member tour team, comprising Korean art directors and performing groups, traveled to four ASEAN nations and performed before hundreds of guests invited for the occasion, including our team here from NBT in Phuket on October 12th at Tainan Restaurant in Phuket City. This event was inaugurated by the Korean ambassador to Thailand, His Excellency Chung Hae Moon, who explained to Andama News that the event was part of the Korean Culture Festivals with ASEAN countries tour, namely Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore and Malaysia. In Thailand, Phuket was chosen as a venue. He hopes that through the Cultural Festival people of the two nations can build closer friendship and mutual understanding. Well, uh, Korea and ASEAN have been working wonderfully for the last uh, 20 years. And this year marks the 20th anniversary of the dialogue partnership between Korea and ASEAN. For that, we already organized commemorative summit in the beginning of June 1st and 2nd in Jeju, Korea's Phuket. And now, we have been uh, diversifying cooperations and exchanges between Korea and ASEAN. This is one part of the diversification effort to further strengthen the cooperation and friendship between Korea and ASEAN. The reason why we chose Phuket for this has a lot to do with why uh, Phuket has become so popular among Koreans. Phuket has become household name in Korea. Phuket has the name something magic. That's why Phuket attracts so many Koreans. The Honorary Consul for Korea in Phuket, Mr. Tosapon Tepabot, who attended the friendly evening, said this was the second time that Phuket was chosen as a venue for the cultural shows and that it was a great idea to promote arts and culture among the people. The Korean Culture Festival with ASEAN showcased the comprehensive essence of Korean traditions and contemporary culture, including Gwangwan Mu or Flower Crown Dance. Dancers wore colorful costumes and a crown of five color beads while executing beautiful and graceful movements. Gayagum Ensemble is a 12-string instrument, the most representative Korean traditional music instrument. The evening ended with an exciting and fulfilling break dancing show by B-Boy. Here's what some viewers of the show thought. 
Leo. I'm from France. Uh, so I really like the show because I probably learned a lot about Korea and their culture and um, what happens in Korea. There, I don't know, lots of things. But I've been here um, almost uh, 20 years. So it was really nice to have um, this kind of uh, Korean culture again because um, I didn't have much chance since I left Korea. And uh, also many people could uh, see it together also. And, um, and also I'm married with foreigner, so it's a um, very good chance to introduce Korean culture and um, Korean instrument and singing, those things, you know, it's, it's fantastic. The event should pave the way for more cultural exchanges between Korea and ASEAN, which of course includes Thailand. All the performances were absolutely stunning today, but what was more amazing about the performance today was the harmony that was created by the two different countries, Korea and Thailand. We are all looking forward to have some many more occasions like this to bond the relationship. This is Alex, reporting for Underman News, back to the studio.